I want to show you how I'm going to do this installation. We have these poles. We are going to put some lights on the pole. We are also going to put some lights on these concrete poles. Just follow us as we do the installation together. We just arrived and uh, let's see what we can do. So this is solar camera. Then, uh, <laughs> these are the solar panels for the lights, for the flood lights. Then we also have street lights. These street lights. Yeah. Well, uh, to bring out this no, 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 don't bring it down. Just, just take it inside. Alright. Take it inside. You are I'll going to do this here inside. Brackets for the panels and the lights for each of the pole. So two poles, two inches pole. We carry one light each, solar flood light. Then the other one, this one, we're gonna carry the two street lights and one flood light as well. But this one is a two and a half inch pole because it's gonna carry more load. We have to make the pole bigger. So we have to fill this space. So we have the about eight all these things from here. Like we have this thing, there's a pole here. Come on, let me take you on the top. Now we have some old thing, two flood lights that I want to place on the pole. Then this one on the pole. I told you before, we already mounted the pole. We already welded the black to the pole. It's going to be at the edge of the building on this side. It's going to be view, half the view on this side of the building. So the other one is going to be there, half the view on this side, parking space for the building. Then why the last one? Let me show you the last one. Here. Then one here, we have two lights that are going to face like this, opposite sides. Then one center light, not like that, going to face from the back to this point. So we have to move that tank from that place so that we can have enough space to place the pole there. So when the pole is there, we know we have back of the building like this. So those two lights will face both sides of the building on, at the back. Then one is going to face front from here down to this, this corner. This uh, open space that is so it's going to be very dark at night. So I don't have that last one face here. So that's all. So I think we can start now. Put this pole right here where this tank is because this the tank has occupied the middle of this space between both buildings. So but right now the tank is filled up. There's nothing we can do at this point. Then we have to just take it a bit away from where the tank is. So if we can place it here, it's still not bad. The one of the street lights will be inside, the other one will be inside. Then the floor, floor light is going to face the gate. So, I think that's what we do. It's a challenge, so most times when you come to sites, when you encounter challenges like this, you have to look for a solution. I came here some other some, some days back to check, and I told the guy in charge that we have to remove this tank from here. 
But right now I'm here, the tank is still here. There's nothing I can do. I cannot empty the water inside because we, we are using the water. I will just place the pole here and then try to make sure the casting is strong enough. Then see what we can do. Alright. So when you come to the side, the first thing you do is to arrange all the floodlights like this. Then connect them to the panels and ensure that it's charging. When you have start charging the floodlights, then you can start with the digging, then other things, arrange the other instruments and the other materials that you want to use to mark the lights and ensure that these ones are charging. So we open the lights from the carton. What you see inside, you have the light itself covered in this nylon bag. They have the instruction manual. They have the, the bolts and screws in case you want to use, you want to mount them on the wall. But we are not going to need this since we are not mounting them on the wall. Then we have the remotes, then also battery for the remotes. So these are all the accessories that come with the light. For the light, the carton of the light. Then there's also the panel carton. Open the panel carton, you are going to find the panel brackets. Then you move the solar panels from this side. The one thing that is very important, the screws. Now you're going to use to mount the solar panel on the brackets. Yeah, we have two holes on the sides. So these screws are very important. Make sure you don't, you don't miss them. Then arrange all the panels and charge the lights in the panels. Then you can put all the accessories like the remotes, the batteries and the screws one of the cartons so that you don't miss everything up. So let's charge this one. Okay. Placing the light on top of the carton so that it doesn't carry sand and doesn't get messed up. So make sure you keep this one very safe. So then this is the street lights. And the street lights, one difference between the street light and the floor lights is that the street light has the panel on top, the lights. So we have both the panel and also the lights. This one is not separated. And the street lights can be mounted on the pole. The pole has to come outside. Then you're going to put this on the inside. There's a hole inside here. So when you put it inside, then you use the screw provided to lock it to the pole. So it's something like this, the pole has to come off an angle from the main pole. Then, normally it comes with the lights, but you have to cut it to some extent. Then you'll be welded to the main pole you're going to buy. I've already showed you how I did the welding. So then you're going to put it like this. So it's going to face this side. Then the other one is going to face the other side like this. So it's like a Y shape. You're also going to put it on under the sun to make sure it's charging. So right now you can test on it just to see if it's on. So right now it's a side charging. So you need to power it on first. And when it senses any lights, it goes on and starts to charge. Then this green um, light inside keeps flashing to ensure that it's charging. So you can see the green lights. So it means it's charging. I'm going to put it like this to make sure it charges. And the other one, do the same thing. It also comes with the remotes and mounting screws. This is a remote, this is a mounting screw. Right now, this one is not on, it's not charging, so you have to tap this one. My brother, thank you. Press the on button. So when it senses like this one goes off, then it starts to charge. Alright. Alright, so we are going to install two of the lights on the streets. On this pool, we have existing pools like this. You don't need to get another pool to install them. All you need to do is to use binding wires to tie the brackets on the pool and make sure you take it as high as possible so that it's not going to be easy for anybody to come and remove at night. So that's it. It's a community development initiative by the custodians of this community that every house should have this light. On each of the pools around their compound, next to their compound, 
at this side, you see that they already have lights installed. So that's it. So I'm going to make sure I'll, I'll take it out of the bit. I'm going to put two lights on this pole. One is going to face this building, the one the other will face this road, this shaft road here. So we are done with the one on the pole, the service pole. So this is the other ones that we made this pole special before. The bracket is already on the pole where they just connect it to the panel, then use the bolts and nuts for the bolts to tie the lights on the panel securely. They use bend wire to hold the wire, the SS wire. Come and go to be on this pool. This is a CCTV camera. Solar camera. I'm going to add it to this pool. So it will be by the security stand there. Very simple. All you need is wires. You just use a 2.5 mm wire to connect it to the pool. It to prevent water from damaging it. So we lock the camera. Also lock this side. Now it doesn't move about easily. And I've connected the panel to the camera, so talk to this wire inside. So you can see that there's a green indicator that shows that the camera is fully charged. Initially, when you buy a camera, make sure you charge it with lights fully with your normal 5 volt charger before you use your panels to charge it. So if it's still charging, if it's not fully charged, you see a red indicator. I can switch on the camera now and allow them to scan so that it can be activated. Then you can move this one. If you don't move it, it's going to block the camera, the microphone. You're not going to hear sound on the app. So I'll just switch this one on the connect to the app. Then that'll be all. Okay, so this is the camera. Then this is the light, this is the panel. These are the set of pieces. Before you cast, make sure you scan the camera to the app and ensure that it is working already. Then before you cast the gun, then you permanent it. That is it. So I think I'll just do that now. So that I can finally have the courage to mount it on the gun. This one I was trying to tell you before. For this one, we have two strip lights like this, creating the Y shape on this pole. Then on top of the pole, I want to have one floor light that will face the gate. So the back of this, the whole of this back side is covered, and also this corner there is covered. So that's the idea for this design. So help me with the panel. So let me fix the panel. This is the panel for the floor that I'll fix it on top. There's space for the fixing already. The bracket has already been mounted on the pole.
All right, thank you very much for watching and uh, I want to let you know that we've completed the installation of the solar street lights and the cameras on this site and it is safe to say that this place is fully secure. You can see we have one 200 watts floor light at the very point. Then combined with the security camera here, the solar floor light. Then again, there's another light over there that is going to cover this side of the compound. Then lastly, for the compound, there's a, a three-in-one lighting system that are designed for this particular spot because of the nature of the building. As you can see, there's an empty space right here from here to that point facing the gate. I have to put one there as well because the one right there cannot come all the way to this point because of the distance. Then these two sides at the back, I place two solar suit lights there to cover for these two sides at the back. So that is it then for on the street like you already saw earlier. I placed three floor lights there on the poles of the street because of the community development initiatives by people, the residents of this community, that each house must try to restore street lights in a particular way to make sure the street is void for print. So that is for that. And uh, we are good to go. Thank you very much. So, if you have a site like this that we are building and you have a project, like this, I want to install something like this. It's not a state. You have to be able to put a spare power on security gates. Number one, your materials aside need to be safe. You need to have that confidence that your workers are not going to do anything with the materials and everything. No intruder is going to come into your compound at night to take anything from the compound. So we have all this installed to a very large extent. You can be rest assured that you're safe. So thank you very much. If you have a site, if you have a building, if you have, uh, if, you live in, if you live in the community, you can bring the initiative and do it to the people of the community so that everyone will put hands together to make sure the whole community is safe and secure to a very large extent. So thank you, I mean, you're the only one, the one and only engineer Gideon, electrical beast. Please subscribe, like, and share.